Nominal wall thickness is the uniform thickness throughout a part. The measurement will be different for different parts, depending on several factors, including the end use of the part and the capabilities of the molding machine. Of course, nominal wall thickness will be different for a simple packaging container than for a structural automotive part. The ideal nominal wall thickness is based on what type of part is being designed, the overall design envelope or size, the resulting part's functionality, and what molding equipment will be used, and lastly, what material will be used for the part. Nominal wall thickness is related to most of the topics that we've covered in the previous lessons, including overall injection pressure requirement, clamp tonnages, packing and cooling behaviors, cycle time, and manufacturing costs. Shrinkage, warpage, and molded-in stress can also be added to the list. Let's look at injection pressure requirements as one factor. Although most modern molding machines can generate injection pressure of 30,000 PSI or higher, is it ideal to max out the machine's capabilities? Generally, the answer is no. When injection pressure is too high, the internal forces inside the mold are also high, so higher clamp tonnages are required to keep the mold closed. This can result in unfavorable results, such as flash or uneven shrinkages, as well as part warpage. Also, forcing the machine to work at its upper limit can create potential maintenance and fatigue issues down the road. Depending on which molding machine is used, a good rule of thumb is to have a safety cushion by keeping the required injection pressure and clamp tonnages within the 60-80% to 80 range of the machine's capabilities.